1300 Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Humayun Zebabasi. First, the headlines. Prime Minister has expressed satisfaction over his government's strict policy of protecting natural habitat of wildlife. Deputy Speaker, National Assembly woos to end deprivations of people of Balochistan. Prominent international daily, the New York Times has slammed Indian leaders for keeping mum over killings of Muslims in the hands of Hindu extremists. An Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Indian troops martyred one more Kashmiri youth in Islamabad district today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan had expressed satisfaction over his government's strict policy of protecting the natural habitat of wildlife. The Prime Minister shared a video of snow leopards on his Twitter handle, whose number has increased due to the government's strict policy to protect their natural habitat. Deputy Speaker National Assembly Qasim Khan Suri has wooed to end deprivations of people of Balochistan. Talking to media in Kota today, the Deputy Speaker said federal government has started mega-development projects in neglected districts of Balochistan to improve living standards of people. He said a network of roads has been laid in the province to improve communication. The Deputy Speaker said that health card facility will be provided soon to the people of Balochistan to enable them to get better health facilities. Speaking about political matters, Qasim Khan Suri said PTI will be recognized in Balochistan. He announced that for this purpose, he will visit every district of the province. He made it clear that the government will complete a tenure. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Chaudhary Fawad Hussain says former Chief Judge of Gilgit Baltistan Rana Shamim signed an affidavit against former Chief Justice of Pakistan in the office of Nawaz Sharif. In a tweet today, the Information Minister said Rana Shamim tried to blackmail former Chief Justice Saqib Nassar and honourable sitting judges of the Islamabad High Court. He said new revelations have once again proved that how Sicilian Mafia is capable of blackmailing institutions including the courts. Special Assistant to Chief Minister Punjab on Information and Spokesperson Punjab Government Hassan Khawar says Islam is the religion of peace and love and his message needs to be promoted across the world. Addressing a conference in Lahore today, he said, We have to fight the war against Islamophobia. Later talking to newsman, Hassan Khawar said, All institutions are on one page for development of the country. He said, Conspiracies against institutions and damaging democracy are against the national interest. Secondary Primary and Secondary Health Care Punjab Imran Sikandar Baloch says significant decline is being witnessed in the coronavirus cases across the province. In a statement today, he said special SOPs have been issued for various sectors to bring further decrees in the corona cases. The Secretary appealed general public to maintain social distancing, wear masks and contact 1033 for any guidance or complaints. Prominent International Daily, the New York Times, has slammed Indian leaders for keeping mum over the killings of Muslims in the hands of Hindu extremists. In an article, the paper wrote that in a worse instance of rising anti-Muslim sentiment across India, right-wing Hindu activists at a conference on Haridwar took an oath to make India a Hindu country even if it required killing Muslims. The paper further writes, noted that Indian leaders and especially Prime Minister Narendra Modi's silence over the incidents is a tacit signal of protection for the extremists, some of the whom have close ties with this party. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops martyred one more Kashmiri youth in Islamabad district today. The joint teams of Indian armies, Rashtriya Rifles, Central Reserve Police, Force and Special Operation Group martyred the youth during a cordon and search operation in Bijbara area of the district. The troops blocked all entry and exit points of the area subjecting the local residents to huge inconvenience. In Congo, five persons have been killed in a suicide bomb blast at a Christmas gathering in Bani City. According to local officials, now that 13 people injured in the blast are under treatment in hospital. 
And in Sudan, tens of thousands of people took out protest rallies in Khartoum, calling for a transition to civilian rule. Security forces fired tear gas to disperse the crowds as they tried to reach the presidential place. At least 48 people have died in crackdowns during weeks of demonstrations against the military coup in Sudan in October. And that is the end of the news. For more news analyses, you can always log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. You can also watch live video streaming for bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.